is there a toothpaste with potassium nitrate and stannous fluoride in it together? Um, unfortunately, that does not exist. There is no toothpaste on this planet that has both of those desensitizing ingredients together. Um, you know, like a very common example would be if you look at the Sensodyne line of products, right? So they will usually use one or the other desensitizer, but never both together. So if we look at the Sensodyne Pro Enamel, right, in the active ingredients, you'll see potassium nitrate, 5%, purpose hypersensitivity, uh, right? So, but it does not have stannous fluoride in here. It has potassium nitrate, but does not have stannous fluoride. But if you look at the other Sensodyne product, the repair and, pro and protect, right? If we look at the active ingredients, it has stannous fluoride, and its purpose is for anti-hypersensitivity. So you do not see potassium nitrate in the stannous fluoride toothpaste, right? So isn't that like really, really interesting? Um, you have two different desensitizers, but they will never mix them together. Uh, so I've actually emailed Sensodyne about this before, and I asked why they don't combine them. Um, they kept giving me generic responses, uh, saying they will explain how each desensitizer works. And you know, they actually work differently, but they will not combine them. Um, they're basically saying that's like as much information as their medical team can give me. So I tried rephrasing the question and asked them, is it harmful to actually, uh, you know, mix both of these two together, right? And then their response was that that is an off-label use, so they don't actually know what would happen if you mix these two uh, desensitizers together. Um, you know, but overall, why you would want a toothpaste with both of these desensitizers is because one of the, the main reasons is that a lot of people, when they're brushing with the Sensodyne, you know, they, they'll notice like an improvement in the dis, in the sensitivity, but it doesn't go away completely. So, so most people are kind of looking for like a better solution. So one thought that comes to mind is why not combine these two, right? Since they desensitize the teeth in, in uh, different ways. But just to kind of let you know, the, uh, the potassium nitrate, right, how it desensitizes your teeth, it, it actually works based on a, uh, the concentration gradient in, in your cell. So it, it basically floods the cells with a lot of potassium ions, so it prevents it from firing. So, so essentially, it numbs your tooth nerve. But the stannous fluoride desensitize your teeth in a slightly different way. So your teeth have a lot of like these pores. If they get unclogged, uh, a lot of um, things that you drink and eat can go straight through them and kind of interact with the nerve, and that's where you get the sensitivity, right? But if you brush with the toothpaste, they, they will kind of clog up the pores, and that kind of prevents a lot of the stimuli from going in to, um, you know, interact with the nerve. So, you know, so why not kind of combine the two so you get the best of both worlds, right? But, you know, um, you know, since I won't really tell you <laughs> why they don't combine them, but, um, you know, we can like try combining them right here to see what happens. I don't know, is this going to explode? Probably not, right? You know, but they're saying they can't really tell me whether or not this is safe or not to, to brush your teeth with. But let's... Ooh. Okay, I do have to say that did start getting a little bit warm for some strange reason. But then it went away. Huh, interesting. Okay, so for like, when I mixed them together, for about like three, four seconds, it, it did feel a little warmer on my finger for some reason. But let me... That is... Very interesting. Okay, but yeah, so 
Um, yeah, I would have to agree with them. You probably shouldn't combine these two <laughs> when you're brushing your teeth with. You know, there, there is a chance that something bad may happen. Um, I wouldn't really recommend it. Uh, alternatively, you should um, get a different type of desensitizing toothpaste if those, if you know, either those sensitizing ingredients aren't working for you. You may want to try like a, like this toothpaste right here, like the Ollie toothpaste, which I kind of really like. This one does have two desensitizers in there. It has the um, Look, no, my hands are all dirty, so I can't really grab this. But it does have the potassium nitrate down there. So you will get that desensitizing effect. But the other desensitizer is the hydroxy appetite down here, actually. The hydroxy appetite will work in a similar way as the um, stannous fluoride, where it clogs the open, exposed, uh, you know, dentinal tubules in, in your teeth. So I had another picture here so basically this hydroxy appetite and it basically clogs the the tubules and then that's how you get like a dual desensitizing effect so um i mean if if those two pieces aren't working for you i would probably give this one a try and, and see if it helps yeah and but yeah that's basically the end of this video and i gotta go wash my hands